What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Mission Boy Chris Lee TV back again with another video. Today I'm here with my guy, Eric. Um, I've talked about Eric on the channel a lot. Uh, he's come down for New Year's uh, Eve and New Year's Day to spend with me and my guy Pierre. Uh, we're at his office right now. But like I said, I talk about Eric a lot on the channel. Uh, he helped me, um, I think we met, uh, uh, I helped him get a job at Jordan. And then, um, you know, we did our time there. Um, you guys, if you listen to some of my stuff in the channel, you kind of know about Eric a little bit. Um, and he helped me get on to where I am leasing. Uh, it's helped me with a lot of other things as well. I think we kind of play it back and forth. Like uh, you know what I'm saying, sometimes I shoot him to alley -oop, He tosses his back up and we make sure that, um, you know what I'm saying? We're always, it's like an accountability thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? We call each other to help with credit stuff. We talk about like just different things to help each other elevate. Um, I'm going to let Eric introduce himself and let you guys know a little bit more about him. Uh, so tell me about yourself, Eric. Uh, yeah, so I go by Eric Deshaun on the, uh, most social media groups. You can find me there. Um, so I got into trucking about three years ago. I lived in Washington State. I worked in aerospace. And I worked for a startup company out there. I did most of my college years out there. But I'm originally from the South. Uh, I grew up in Louisiana. So I moved back home about three years ago, and I'm just like, well, what am I going to do now? So uh, my dad was in trucking when I was in my youth, and I was like, you know what? I want to do operate heavy equipment. That's where I really want to be. I didn't want to be in the office anymore. I need to be active. So I decided I was going to go in and do heavy equipment. But um, the training and all that stuff, the time frame to try to get to the union, I said, well, I'll give myself a leg up by going ahead and getting my CBL. So I went and got my CDL, and uh, it's been three years now that I've been driving trucks, and I, I don't regret my decision. Uh, I still plan to work with heavy equipment in the future, but uh, I credit Chris Lee a lot for uh, my journey over to Jordan Carriers. Uh, the way I found him was I was looking for uh, videos about their orientation. He was the only person out there that had uh, videos about uh, the orientation of Jordan. So shout out to YouTube for that, uh, the power of YouTube and helping me uh, to make my decision of the next company I was going to. Uh, and from there, you know, uh, I moved on from that company, I moved to a different company. And I, I tested the waters first and I said, yo, let me throw this back to him. I said, yo, you know, uh, you're taking a break right now, but where I'm at seems like a good situation. Come give it a shot. And he came over and gave it a shot. And so far things are working out pretty well for both of us. So. And I appreciate him for uh, pitting me on over there when we were at Jordan uh, and then following me on over here uh, when I made this decision to try to take it to the next level. Right. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking to Eric about the importance of goal setting in 2022. Uh, today is January 1st. So we have now 364 days um, to establish implement achieve all of our goals it's, it's definitely possible um last year i achieved a lot of my goals i'm happy to happy to say that i did um and i think that it's it's really time for people to, to understand that you are you are able to do what you put your mind to i've helped countless people um get into the trucking industry by getting their cdl um, getting into flatbed, getting into whatever, whatever, uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever you haul, whatever niche. But people took that step last year. I get DMs consistently, constantly, all the time uh, saying thank you for, you know what I'm saying, just making YouTube or thank you for, um, you know, just giving me words of encouragement through a DM. Um, and I think that people who watch this video, um, People who are already subscribed, I want you guys to watch this video and understand that the things that you have on the back burner, um, that you need to put them uh, on the table. You need to ex execute all your all of your goals, everything that you put your mind to, everything that you want to do. Um, you know, we're we're running on uh, borrowed time, right? So it's it's like now or never. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 really who else is going to achieve your goals for you but you. Uh, and the answer is no one. So, um, what do you think about, um, you know what I'm saying? Why do you think it's important to set goals, especially right now at the beginning of the year? Um, and uh, I'd just like to hear what you have to say about that. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, goals are, um, are 
I, I call them kind of placeholders, right? Mm -hmm. a, a target point for you to reach out to. And sometimes we might fall shy of our goals, right? Um, but we put the effort in to try to meet that goal, right? And we have to get lessons learned from those goals we're trying to reach when we didn't quite get where we want to be. For sure. But we still make progress, right? So goal setting is important because you got to know what direction you, you, you want to go in, right? Um, I call it wing ding it. You know, if you're out here trying to wing ding it and try to make, uh, you know, whatever you're trying to make, whether it's financial security, whether it's becoming a millionaire, whether it's owning multiple businesses, um, you know, if you're trying to do that without a plan, it, it's going to be very hard for you to see. But if you put those those mile markers out there, right, places where you can separate, celebrate when you hit those milestones that you want to create, uh, that you created, right? Uh, becomes very important and encouraging for you to continue upon your journey. Uh, I think a lot of people in entrepreneurship, uh, no matter what facet it's in, whether it's uh, in trucking or another industry, don't continue forward because uh, they get discouraged along the way um, because they didn't set small attainable goals mm -hmm. uh, that they can set and they can achieve to help encourage them to keep going. So one of the major importances of goal setting is to help you to keep going. Um, and I think that if you set some, some small attainable goals, right, your overarching goal could be, I want to I want to be a billionaire, okay? That's way up there. Right, right? make $100 first. Yeah, how do I get to right. that step and set those small attainable goals mm -hmm. uh, to get to that point to where one day, we're looking back on it, it's like, I set a hundred goals to become a billionaire. I've each, every, each and every one of those, and the next step is this, a billion. Um, so I, I think that's so important for us to do. Um, and I would definitely recommend, you know, write them out today, you know. They can just, what do you want to accomplish in the next 30 days? I, I love Mike Tyson's analogy of, he only looks at his life in 30 day blocks, mm -hmm. the changes that he can make in 30 days. And I think that's a great place to start. So you've got the month of January that just started. Set your January goals. Set your overarching goal, right? Where you want to be at the end of the year, five years, whatever. But look at it in 30-day blocks. What can I achieve in 30 days? And I think if you do that, you will find success in all facets of your life, whether it be in entrepreneurship, uh, relationships at home, with family, friends. Uh, I, I think those, that's the key to finding success. 100%. I like that analogy. It's like, um, like what you said about Mike Tyson. They say, like, how, what's the easiest way to eat an elephant? It's like one bite at a time. Yeah. But I think with people, when they hear some stuff like that, it still might be kind of like, what are you talking about? Yeah. But when you break it down into like doing it at, as, a, at, as a 30 day increment, um, then you can understand, like, okay, um, people, uh, everybody understands a, a month is 30 days, 31 days, 29 days, whatever. But everybody understands how, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's four weeks. The first week you do this. Yeah. The second week, okay, if you did what you need to do in the first week, then now you can go on to the, the next goals in the second week, the third week, the fourth week. Yeah. So I like that, um, how Mike Tyson said broke that down. Um, so what are some of the goals that you feel like you uh, wanted to achieve in the past year, in 2021? And that you were able to actually uh, hit. Uh, so I'm a bit on. I'm big on asset acquisition. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, in simplified terms, it's just like buying stuff and owning it and having that be an asset that will make you money in the future. 100%. Uh, so one of the things that I want to do is like I still love heavy equipment. One of the things I eventually want to do outside of trucking, right, is operating heavy equipment, uh, excavation, demolition, those type of things. So um, I bought a, a single axle dump truck. That's one of the things I was able to do is being an entrepreneur, starting this uh, leasing with this different company to be able to acquire that piece of equipment, mm -hmm. right? I didn't go out there and buy a fancy new car. I didn't go and, and spend a bunch of money at the casino and go on these fancy vacations. I grinded uh, and, uh, well, I hate using the term grind. I worked hard. <laughs> Uh, to achieve that goal, and I was able to purchase that asset that will one day pay me more money to operate that asset. 100%. That's dope. Um, so, were there like influential people, like key people who were able to help you um, 
goal set or like achieve those goals or like where where did any outside party like come in and, and play any part? And yeah, like, um, you know, um, you know, we're involved with the trucking group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we got a bunch of entrepreneurs in that trucking group, and that we encourage each other to continue to grow, uh, be not only a better man, uh, but better businessmen. Um, at the end of the day. So that was a huge influence there. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, my family, I look at my father. Um, my father started in trucking before I did. Um, and he's since retired from it, but he also had other assets that he had acquired. So, you know, I followed in his in some of his footsteps to um, do some of the things he did, but I have the more education than what he had, right? So I should be able to do it better. I still rely on my father for advice. I'll bounce things off of because mm -hmm. he's been in that field and he's gone through some of the things I've gone through right. to get his advice. But what I do now is I take what I've learned from the business world and I apply it to the advice that he's given me mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that I continue to be successful and take it to the next level. That's awesome. Um, so speaking on that, um, as far as like you're having your father there, that's like someone who was able to help you. Um, like looking at it from a different, like just, I guess, uh, vantage point, were there people that you were able to help achieve their goals by kind of just having a different understanding? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like how your father played a role for you, like were you able to play that role for anyone? You know what I'm saying? And their ability to achieve their own personal goals? Uh, you know, I, I'm a person that, uh, I'm a will. I feel like sometimes I'm a wealth of knowledge. I will, I'll give you enough knowledge to dissuade you either way. I will give you the pros and cons of everything. So if you come to me, if you see me out and you ask me, you know, what do you think about this? I'll give you everything that I know about it, right? Right. And there have been people that I've talked to that um, I've encouraged to, I, I call it jumping out of the window, right? Um, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, 100%. right? So there, I've met people that have wanted to become entrepreneurs and want to do this, and I'm always a person that's going to encourage you to do it. Jump out the window. Yeah. What do you have to lose at the end of the day? Um, take that risk. Take a calculated risk. Don't put your family at risk, right, in, in doing this thing. But, again, no risk, no reward. So you, you've got to take some chances in life. Especially if you're a, a young single man that doesn't, doesn't have a lot of responsibility, this is the best time for you to take some calculated risk uh, and venturing out on the limb to see if this thing is going to work. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we don't talk about enough in entrepreneurship is everyone is looks, looking for perfection, right? Yeah. And there's this uh, Instagram video that was going around where, this, this, where the speaker is asking, hey, um, practice makes what? And everyone says perfection. Mm -hmm. He says, no, that's wrong. I need you to change that mindset. Practice makes improvement because you can always better your best, right? Mm -hmm. In the entrepreneurship game, whether it's trucking or whatever other industry that you're involved in, you are going to fall down. You're going to fail. For sure. Just get it into your head now. Something is not going to go the way you want it to go, right? Take that in stride and take it in lessons learned and apply it to the next time you try. Don't get discouraged because, oh, I didn't work out, I'm a failure, I'm just never gonna be, no, no. That's how you learn, right? It's the same way that you learn to walk as a baby. You took a couple steps and you fell down. And then one day you're eventually able to just pick, keep putting one foot in front of the other and now you're walking. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time to learn how to run. You did the same thing when you were learning how to run. You tried to step too fast and, and you fell down. And then one day you learn how to run. Entre the entrepreneurial journey works in the same exact fashion. Right. You're going to fall down. You're going to get some boo-boos. You're going to get some bumps and some bruises. But at the end of it all, you be should be able to become a fully functional entrepreneur slash business person. Right, right. Um, I can't lie. Like I try to be fully transparent on my channel um, with all the, you know what I'm saying, I, I won't call them. Uh, I'll say lessons, all the lessons that I learned. Um, I try to be as transparent as possible so that people understand, like, um, there is good, there is bad. There are days where, you know, the truck's down. There are days where I have um, high four-figure uh, weeks out here in the industry. Yeah. Um, I don't really talk much about the successes other than, like, being able to share uh, my time with my family. Uh, 
which has been something that I've been really big on uh, in, in these past couple, I guess, videos or these past couple months as well, um, bringing in my daughter and stuff like that. So um, in saying that, I think, like you said, just having having the ability to get back up uh, and showing, and you're, you're actually making, like showing uh, people an example. Um, one of the reasons I made my YouTube channel was for my son to see um, me more often because at first when I started doing this, I wasn't home, but also to see um, if any if anything were to ever happen or if he, I know that he watches YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And I want it to be uh, someone that he looked at in a certain light. If his father is doing YouTube, then he can do it as well. But being able to express like just the things that I'm going through in life and seeing that I'm not giving up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I said that I wanted to do something, um, it's documented. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely agree with what you said. Um, yeah, so if you could give any other tips on like just how to, how to set and achieve goals and um, and then, like, I want to know some of your goals for this year. I know you said that uh, the 30-day thing, I think, is a really good one. Um, is there any other tactics you use on your personal goals, like, when you're uh, setting your goals? Uh, so, for me, when I'm setting my goals, um, you know, I, I'm i not a big fan of the five-year plan. I'll be perfectly honest mm -hmm. with you. I just, every time I try to set a five-year plan, it gets blown up in the within 90 days. It just never <laughs> works out for me. It doesn't, for the way that I operate and the way I move, it doesn't work out for me. For other people, it works out great, right? Um, for me, I think, um, I, I said, I try to set three major goals for the year, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the major goals I have for the year is one, to buy my own truck and get outside my lease truck, right? I want to own my own equipment. Uh, my second goal is I want to own at least three rental properties this year to add to my portfolio. My third uh, goal for the year um, that I'm working towards, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm working this in 30 day blocks. What can I do in this next 30 days? And I've already mm -hmm. got some things set on the calendar that I'm looking at um, to help me achieve those goals, right? Uh, but the last thing, the third goal is to um, have more freedom, more time sure. to spend with my family, more time to do some traveling, to get outside of the truck. The reason why I got into um, the release side of things, moving to the owner, op owner operating side of things, is because I like trucking, but I don't love it. Right? Mm -hmm. I like what I do. Do I want to do this every day, day in and day out for the rest of my life? Right. No, that's not what I want to do. There's some guys that that's exactly what they want to do. Mm -hmm. My hats off to you, brothers. I, nothing against you, but for me, that's not. Uh, trucking is an end to a means for me. A means to an end for me. Sorry. So um, I'm using trucking to acquire additional assets to allow me to transition outside of trucking. Now, somehow, some way, I may get dragged back into trucking to where I'm involved in some uh, another business doing something for trucking. I have no issues with that. But as far as me having to get up and do it every single day, that's not what I want. I want to be able to say, eh, I don't feel like doing anything with the truck today. I'm going to focus on this other business today or for the next three weeks and have it be completely fine to do so because I'm not just de solely dependent upon the income that's being driven from trucking. That's awesome. Um, I think if I can say like what helps me with my goals is I'm the type of person, I need organization, I need structure, I need, like you said, I just need to, I have to write things down. Um, I use the pen and pad, I use the note app on my iPhone. Oh yeah. I send messages yeah. to myself. Yeah. Um, just like, you know what I'm saying, just tasks that I know that go from important to least important, but everything has to be done. And um, you know what I'm saying, if, if I accomplish those things, it's gonna get me to the next thing. It's like the small, the small, like do the small things and then, you know what I'm saying, yeah, progressing to yeah. doing the bigger things. And it gives you, it gives you the momentum that you need. Um, and it's psychological as well, when you see that you're able to achieve something. Like, okay, I did that. Like, I'm not a failure. I'm not yeah. a, you, you don't get trapped into that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think a big part is, too, is like with you and I, right? We mm -hmm. have this accountability thing. Right, right. And the group that we're involved in, it, it's like, 
we were the first one to admit, like, we bully each other a little bit, right? <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie to you. We bully each other a little bit. Like, no, you're going to get yeah, yeah. out here and you're going to do this. You're going to achieve this this year right. because we want us all to be successful, right? And that bullying, and, it, and it's bullying and love, right? It, it works because mm-hmm. there, we've been in this group for three years yep. together. And, oh, my God, we've we've made so many strides individuals in that group and as a group together and it's not just with trucking it's in our personal lives it's in, in, in every aspect of life we discuss in that group it's more of a brotherhood than it is really like just this group where we just talk about business we really turn it into a, a brotherhood which i feel is so very important for you to have people around you 100%. that are going to hold you accountable for your actions yeah. whether it be in as an entrepreneur or as a as a human being you need that accountability and sometimes you might need somebody to do a little hand holding, you know, yeah. like man, I, brother, I just don't, I, I just don't feel that I can, I can, I can do it, I can figure it out. And you know, having somebody that you can talk to and be like, no, nah, you got this, man. Mm-hmm. It's like I know you. You're smart. You're ambitious. You can do this. Having that support structure, every entrepreneur needs that. Every person in this on this planet, as a human being, needs a solid support structure to be able to achieve, achieve anything. So. Uh, one of the goals that I would like for each and every one of you to set is find a group of people, right, that can help hold you accountable and that you can hold discussions with about your goals, their goals, exactly. that can help each other out. If you want to go far, go together. If you want to go fast, go alone, right? So if you want to go far in this entrepreneurial thing, surround yourself with a group of people that are going to help hold you accountable. Uh, and give you the encouragement and uh, even sometimes the resources that you need to, to ensure your success because as we found in our group, as you found success, I found success, we found success together. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it wasn't just me on my own, just like I said, wing dinging it. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I, I did research and I brought the research to him. I said, yo, man, this worked for me, brother, try it out for you. How's it work for you? Man, this works great. Okay, let's keep passing that information on. 100%. Yeah. Um, and like you said, that having having people who you're able to be like bounce things off of, you know what I'm saying? Finding finding people like that, I think in a more productive. I think that where some people, and I, I don't think you should use this as an excuse to where your environment hinders you from finding like-minded individuals, because I know that's going to be an excuse for a lot of people. Um, that's what we have the internet for. You can talk to somebody in China and Russia right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can you can find that those people, you can connect with those people. Um, if need be, I'll make a, a Discord group where we have like minded individuals, you know what I'm saying, that are gonna help push you to the next level. Um, but I have to say like that completely helped me in my career, it helped me in my life. And it helped it helped once it's you know what I'm saying, once it starts to help you and you see those that you're taking action and, and you're 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 listening to the people around you who are doing things that you want to do, it kind of like spreads from you to people that are not even in that circle anymore, to people outside of this there outside, outside of that circle, but out, like in your immediate, like your your cousins or people you're close to, like in your family, like they might see uh, or say something that that links with. You know what I'm saying where you are, and you'll be like, "Oh, you know about that? Oh, well, let me tell you um, what I learned about it." Yeah, and yeah. then now they're like, "Oh, you you can help me do that." And then you know what I'm saying now y'all are y'all are clicking. You know what I'm saying? So that's a whole other group for me, off of the information that you got from one group. Um, I think that's very important. Um, so, like I said, um, definitely find those people. Um, Twitter, Facebook. You know, Instagram, uh, I've connected with people on all platforms and it might be because I have some foundation, but a lot of people who have that foundation might not have that group, um, might not have the support system. So don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't just say I, I don't have it around me. The people around me don't, are on the same mindset. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look outside of that. Uh, don't box yourself in. Uh, is there anything uh, you want to say? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I want to say thank you for you know what I'm saying coming out here and spending the uh, you know what I'm saying New Year's uh, out here in Dallas with me and Pierre. I really appreciate it. I know Pierre appreciates it. Uh, being able to link up with people, like I said, who, who help elevate you in life and support you. 
is, uh, you know what I'm saying? I have to say, like, in front of you, thank you, bro, like, for real. Oh, man, I really appreciate you. you. Um, <laughs> but any, anything you want to close out with? Uh, man, uh, you know, um, Combat Jack, if you guys know who that is, if you're in hip hop, rest in peace uh, to Reggie O'Shea, who, who knows Combat Jack, you know, he'd always have this thing, I'm gonna kind of paraphrase it. He said, you know, uh, live those dreams, man up, woman up, and live those dreams. Mm -hmm. Just life flows in technicolor and surround sound, you know, uh, and that's the truth. Um, if you got a dream in, in, in mind, if you got a goal in mind, I want you to make a decision today to pursue it. Pursue it with your all, you know. And remember, you can't do it in a vacuum. You're gonna need a support system around you. Find that support system. Your mom and dad might not understand. Your, fa your close family doesn't usually understand when you start this entrepreneurial journey. Yeah. So find people outside of them. Still keep them in the loop and say, hey, this is what I'm doing, but they're not gonna fully understand. Find those like-minded individuals and, and go after those, those goals. I, I, I want you, I believe in you. I know you can do it, it but you gotta start believing in you. So you got two people here right now that know that you can do it, and you just gotta start believing it. And it starts with setting those small goals, achieving those small goals, and, and mm -hmm. working up from there. So if you want that Lamborghini on the moon, I believe you can get it. <laughs> Who am I to tell you you can't right. get it? <laughs> but you gotta do the steps to get there. So that's it. All right, bro. It's your boy, Chris Lee TV. It's my guy, Eric. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What do you think about the video? Deuces.